We have dessert and it's from one, from one of my favorite restaurants in this entire city. You might remember last year, we were joined by Chef Sam Dominich. He announced his new restaurant, Restaurant Constance. It's this wonderful concept that's over here on Thrift Road, right here in West Charlotte. The spot's only getting better. The restaurant is now going to have handcrafted in-house desserts. Yes. Of course, with the help of their award-winning <laughs> pastry chef. Anne-Marie Stephanie is here. She's the pastry chef at Restaurant Constance. How yes. are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm so good. I'm so glad you're here. Tell me how this happened that you ended up working with Sam in Restaurant Constance. Um, well, I got through the pandemic. I was at Southminster and I was the GM there and it just, I missed the kitchen. Yeah. And it was just this whole lag of, I was missing a part of me. So I randomly reached out to Chef Sam on Facebook of all things and was like, what you're doing is great. You care, um, can I join the team? Oh. So I came in and I was working for your farm's your table on the savory side and doing a lot of our institutional meals and all of the day prep and helping out a little bit with Constance. And then little by little by little, we just kept collaborating and doing things and more things and then three weeks later boom so here we are and this past tuesday the pastry program actually launched so we're super excited about it because it's just something special where everything is made under one roof from start that. to finish and he's got a great thing going there so we are crushing it i love <laughs> that when you said to him i love what you're doing what about what he's doing did you love and want to be a part of Keeping everything local, everything mm -hmm. from the plates are coming from Charlotte, all the ingredients are coming from Charlotte. We take that minimalistic approach, but also the kitchen culture. It's always got this stigma of being harsh and the hours and crazy and you just have no work-life balance. So coming into that, that was my biggest concern was to make sure that I maintain that I still have a life outside of work, mm -hmm. but I can still follow my dreams and do really cool things on a plate. Um, and that's exactly what he's about. And that's exactly what we've built a culture at Restaurant Constants and the whole Your Farms, Your Table facility. I love all of that. You've done some reality TV. Correct. Tell everybody what uh, you've done. You've done Bravo and Food Network. Correct. Um, in 2017, I did two shows in the Food Network. Um, I didn't win either of them, but they're really great experiences. <laughs> Good. Um, and then in 2018, I was on a reality show on the Bravo TV Network, and that was called Welcome to Waverly, where they shipped off six people off into the middle of Kansas, uh -huh. and we city folk, quote unquote, live side by side with somebody who also did our job, but in a different aspect. So I worked with Wanda the Pie Lady for six weeks. Um, and then a year later, met back up with Wanda. We got ah, pie tattoos. That's She's so cool. a part of my life. It's, <laughs> it's so funny because as soon as that we, you know, we get these news releases that tell us like, here's the thing that's happening. And we got the one about this. And I saw your face. I'm like, I know her. <laughs> I know her from TV. So that's fantastic. You're going to put some stuff together for us today. Yes. Um, first, I want you to talk to me about this one because this is chocolate and it speaks my name. Uh, yeah. So we try to take a very minimalistic approach to it, but a lot of, um, Chef Sam uses a lot of like Asian inspired flavors. Mm -hmm. So here's just a simple caramel chocolate tart. <laughs> simple, if you will. It's not uh, simple. So the shortbread crust actually has a toasted black sesame seeds in it. Mm. So you'll get those little toasted little umami notes in it. And the caramel has a red miso paste that's folded into it. So red miso is a fermented bean paste, has a good salinity to it. So it'll taste like a salted caramel, <gasps> but it also have this very luscious feel on it. Top of the chocolate ganache, and then it'll also get garnished with a little bit of sea salt. Mm. And then we're in house making creme fraiche, setting it with some mirin, a little bit of gelatin, and then it will just go easily on top. Um, you probably said a word in there that most people don't know, mirin. Walk us through what that is. It's a sweetened rice wine. Um, so we make the creme fraiche, it's heavy cream. We're setting that with an acid, letting it sit for about 36, 48 hours. It'll naturally thicken up. So it'll sit out at room temperature, naturally do its thing. We're seasoning with a little bit of sugar, a little bit of mirin, and then we'll set it with some gelatin so it'll hold itself. It's stunningly beautiful. I'm gonna Thank take you. a picture of it because you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat it <laughs> in a minute. Um, that is absolutely gorgeous. All right, so let's move this over here so I can taste it in a minute. Sh Chef Sam is here, he's off camera today. <laughs> and he said, you know Kristen's gonna eat, we gotta get some spoons out and he knows me that well. This is the one I'm really interested in you telling me about. I saw it on the menu and it just said breakfast. Yes. But it's a dessert. Yes. Um I'm big on breakfast for dinner. Everyone mm -hmm. loves breakfast. It's like the root. So every cook at the end of the day, you cook, you know, 12 hours and you go home and you want to cook for yourself. No. What's the easiest thing? Breakfast. Uh -huh. Every cook knows how to make breakfast. So this is just bringing it back to the roots and also having something that's super relatable that everybody has. Okay. So it's just a sour blueberry compote. And these are coming from Harmony Ridge, mm. which is based out of Charlotte. Yep. 
a Japanese souffle pancake that we have here. So okay. it's super light and fluffy and it'll be stabilized throughout service so it's I, not falling. That's the thing that I had to ask because the, we see those Japanese pancakes all over social mm -hmm. media right now, but they seem to like in a minute, they're mm -hmm. gonna drop down. What makes this one different? The love of God. The love of God. I'll take it. Yeah. Um, science. Put, so that on the, <laughs> put that on the marketing. When yeah. you go to Chef Sam's restaurant, Constance, you're going to see the love of God yeah. and then be able to eat it. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> um, and this is a white chocolate cremeux, so it's toast. Can I so, try it? Yeah, absolutely. So I take bread, burn it black, completely char it. Um, and burnt and char is just a flavor of bitter. So is what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it with high fat cream, <laughs> some sugar, and set it with some white chocolate so it tastes like buttered toast. It absolutely 100% <laughs> does. So we have our toast, our pancake, toast with jam <gasps> with our blueberry compote. And then it's gonna get topped with fouillotine, which is a dehydrated crepe. Thank you. Little crunchy crispy bits. Mm, oh my God. So it's just a bit of like plays on textures. Oh, that's good. And then this is maple sugar that we're making in house. It's 100% maple syrup, no stabilizers, no preservatives, no anything. We're manipulating time and temperature. So we bring it up to a very specific temperature for a very specific amount of time, drop that temperature down, and then we agitate it in a mixer until it starts to naturally crystallize. So it's just pure maple syrup melts in your mouth. If you're from like upstate New York, Vermont, wherever, Maple, maple candy. sugar candy, girl. Oh, so that is that exactly principle, it. but instead we're taking out all of the moisture, not just a fraction of it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh and then you gosh. have breakfast on a plate. That okay? Because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna lie around here. I was like, do I want breakfast after I eat dinner? Yep. Yeah, I do. do. I sure do. Can I try it? Absolutely. All right. Um, tell everybody what they need to know about coming in and ordering their desserts at Restaurant Constance. If you're in a group, should you get one of everything? Absolutely. Because there's another one you're doing, right, that isn't here today. Correct. We have a yuzu semifredo. It would have just melted on the way here. What is semifredo? Um, semifredo is Italian for semi-frozen. Mm -hmm. So we're using a yuzu, which is a Japanese fruit, which is a citrus. Um, and that bitterness is going to get folded in with some high-fat cream. We make a curd out of it. Um, and then we freeze it completely on top of a gluten-free crust. Mm -hmm. And then it's gonna go with the hibiscus syrup that's gonna be poured table side. Okay, listen. <laughs> listen. The food was already amazing, you know. Now when you go and the dessert is amazing too, there's no reason not to go to this restaurant. Chef, thank you so much thank for coming you. in. Thank you, absolutely. Oh, can I dig in right here? Absolutely. Is it bug you when people dig in in the middle? No. It would bug me. <laughs> it would bug me. <laughs> it would, I'm like weird like that. That looks All so right. good, Kristen. It's like you took a hoagie and bit it right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Heaven. Cheryl, I know. I'll save you some. Just a bite. I, I won't double one, dip. Just one little bite for me. Chef <laughs> Sam, you did good. You did good, man. Woo! That was good. Cheryl, over to you. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue to enjoy this moment. Please. <laughs>